Richard Mazangre comes into the attack after just one over from Sean Tate. <laughs> Brendan Taylor thinks, oh, I like the look of that. I'll save some of that for later with Sean Tate. So it's uh, Mazangre. Who was the first captain you remember in uh, 20 over cricket? Actually, there were a couple who tried it in, in 40 over cricket as well. Who'd bowls 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. And uh, bowl even even as many as five bowlers in uh, in one right. over spells. I seem to recall Neil McKenzie did it uh, when he was captain of the Lions. Oh, four or five years ago, it was regarded as highly eccentric then, but it's now kind of almost normal, commonplace. That's right. It's incredible how it's changed so quickly, and you just do whatever you really want. Bowl who you want, when you want. Lobbed up into the air, but oh, oh two chances at it. Oh, Gary Balance had uh, half a chance at the catch, or thought he did, but then it was down to the run out and he just missed. Actually, as a bowler, you know, I remember thinking, oh, you know, bowlers, you've got to give them at least four overs in, in 50 over cricket, you've got to give them a proper spell. But I would imagine now that uh, if you bowl a good over, you know, I'm pretty quite happy to be taken out of the attack. Depends who you're bowling to. If you bowl a good over to Chris Gale, you don't want to bowl the next one. But there are batsmen out there who don't carb him all over the place. Mainly just pushing the gaps. You don't mind bowling an extra over to him. Because you know if you bowl a good over to Chris Gale, the chances of the next one going far are very, very high. So halfway. Yeah. That is Sean Tate, one off his first over, and uh, he's going to save up the others for a bit later. Maybe a couple in the middle, one at the end, or one in the middle, two at the end. Thanks, Lou. Well, he's generally pretty good at the end, isn't he? Oh, good boy, you know, he gets a boat drop, goes right in there. And he's slippery, he really is. To get down, sweep him is not nice. <laughs> I wouldn't face him anymore. Well, that was just a poor delivery, but uh, very well put away by Stuart Matsukanieri. It's uh, it's pretty well known by now that uh, Stuart Matsukanieri's favourite shot as is the case with many short men, is the square cut or the slash over point or wide third man. So <laughs> to bowl short and wide outside the off stump really is asking for trouble. That's where he loves it, doesn't he? As soon as you get him trying to get him coming forward, that's where he sometimes gets himself into trouble. But short and wide, but anyone loves it. But really short guys like Stewie love it even more. Oh, he slipped that one through. Gone between bat and pad and over the top over. of middle and leg. Three overs gone, 19 without loss. Do you hear? well so far at the death and yesterday he held up well against Chris Gale okay. but again he's got a challenge here he's been given the responsibility by his coach ah, getting a little cute there Stuart okay. Mazikanieri he knows that they need those boundaries to him and double up pretty much to put some pressure on Sean Tate and this time it's a miscue he's trying to get after him the youngster at the moment holding up well and it's always so beautifully bold I mean that is good skills good presence of mind he's backed away and he's got it right A fantastic delivery from Richard Mishange picked right it up into the block wall he's received so much praise from his coach and that is one of the reasons why he's in this team today. His ability to ball this death. Good length. Again. 
Back to back Yorkers oh, yeah. right in the hole. I tell you what. Yes, Richie. Talk about players and being able to deliver under pressure. He's proved it against the. Full straight down the ground one. Yeah, definitely. I would be there. I agree with your chain of thought there. But Ryan Tender Scott, a, he's a good player. Swing and a miss first up for Ryan Tender Scott. Beautifully bowled. Right in the block hole. You love that stand, didn't you? That's a dot in the analyst column, isn't it? Right there. Right on the crease. Fantastic delivery from Richard Mushange. He's been very impressive so far. Holding his nerve. Crime to get the ball back quickly to him. Keep on keeping on, young man. Again. Back to back. And he's going to throw at the stumps, the inexperience showing from the young man. You always hold on in those cases. Just a little bit of excitement. I think it's coming from us in the commentary box. We're just transferring it out there, Stan. Something else is not going to make Brilliant magic. Yorker again to follow up. Oh, that's real. You just hold on in the stage. tell you what, today we've seen some high-class batting and some high-class bowling. Shingi Masakadze and Dirk Nanez in the first game were exceptional. And this young man has put himself up there as well because he's taken on the responsibility when it's counted. And he stood tall and he's delivered for his team. Another Yorker. Fantastic bowling, fantastic bowling indeed. Two runs off the over so far. One more delivery to go. What's he got in store for us? Another Yorker? That's a strong shot down the ground. Smart, probably only take a single. Give Peter Trigo the strike. An excellent over from Richard Mujang. It will go to pieces. It's all eyes on Mujang at the moment as he continues from the city end. It's got a and the field is going to come round. Richard Mushangi. Well bold, young man. Well bold. They're going to come back for two. Building and he's hit the stumps. There's a big appeal. Well, you talk about delivering when you have to. The Yorker was bold. The fielding was exceptional. Interestingly, once again, the umpire has decided to refer this, but a fantastic pickup from one Malcolm Waller. Brilliant throw. Not even strapped up. Richard Mushange. Well, again, he delivers. You talk about a young man. And a wild swing and miss, and the Midwest Rhinos get home for seven runs. Fantastic bowling by the young man, Richard Mujange. The Eagles, well, they'll think of...